Guys, I don't know what just happened. Just started the truck. And there's oil all over in here. Right there, right there. I just don't know what happened. Just kidding. So, this week's video, nothing too fancy, nothing performance oriented, just maintenance. We're doing an oil change on the Ram Hemi. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this. We're going to get dirty, but we'll get the job done, and that's all that matters. All right, so now that we're up in the truck, literally, in there's so much more room because we took out the stock fan shroud and stock fan clutch. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look back in a previous video of mine called Fan Clutch Delete. Or it might be called the best mod. Alright. So. Right here. Passenger side. That's where the oil filter goes. Give it a couple of good old tugs. Get that filter off. And then you can go back and replace it, but make sure you clean off that surface around that spindle there so it has a good seal when you go put the new filter on. And then, we're going to come back here to the train plug on the engine. We're going to loosen that bolt right there, and we're going to drain the oil out. So I don't have my tripod today, so you can't, I'm not going to be able to show you guys me taking it off, but I will show you the before and after of doing stuff. Alright, so we got it off. It was, Let's see if it'll focus, probably won't, but that was a 13 millimeter bolt that we took out of. So on the 2014 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter Hemi, sorry I was trying to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to get that oil pan so it doesn't drip on the concrete like it just did. But 2014 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter Hemi takes 7 quarts of oil, 5W20, and it takes a, I, I like using the Fram filters because they have that gripping on the end of them. And that is a 10060 filter. So that's pretty simple. Take off the filter, take off the drain plug, and then you just uh, wait till all the fluid comes out, put the drain plug back in, fill up your filter. I always like to pre fill them because then you're not starting bone dry. At least it'll have oil circulating through the filter first. So without further ado, we're going to put the drain plug back on. I'll show a clip of filling up the filter. And then we'll put that on. And then we'll start her up. Alright, so we are going to fill up the filter. Let me see if I can get a good view of it for you guys. And down the hatch. Oh, look how thirsty it was. Alright. Now that we got that filled up, we're going to take some oil and put it around this O-ring so it can have a nice tight seal. And now, time to install it on the truck. And then we'll fill it up with oil. Alright. Now that we have the oil filter on, and if you can't see it, it's that orange thing right there. That is where the filter is. It is on passenger side of truck, underneath passenger side head. So that's where that is. And you guys may be wondering, you know, wow, this is a nice clean truck under the hood. It looks so different than mine. Well, you almost certainly right. It is different. I took off the plastic engine cover. And now it looks full race truck. So we're going to send it like that this season. See how he does. 
but I'm gonna pour the oil in put the cap back on and then we're gonna start it up and reset that oil light all right so now we took that funnel out we got the oil cap on and let's see got the oil filter on drain plug tight oils in there uh, oil caps on now time to come in the truck and don't mind the mess but it, it is very used so key on engine off you use your cycle keys right here go down and always make sure all right so we have our oil chain to do and oil change required light still on. So what we do, we go over to this screen. So you literally go down to where it shows your oil temp, uh, oil temp trans temp, uh, coolant temp. Then you go to the left one and you'll get to that screen. Now, if you see right here above it says, hold right arrow to reset. Confirm reset. We're gonna go down to okay And then it says press right arrow to confirm Which I don't know if you can hear me actually Better late than ever I guess to turn that radio off holding that arrow And it's reset Now we got a hundred percent oil life don't need to worry about those nasty little change oil soon lights coming on again. So that's pretty much it for this video. And without further ado, good old startup. I guess it won't do it because of the hood. Nothing's in the way. Guess I just need a good old man handling. guys so that's how to change an oil plus we learned how to reset an oil light on the newer 2014 and up dodge rams this is a big horn so it may have some features that other rams may not but that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time with some fun 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 videos I have a couple ideas so please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Comment below too. Um, I'm all ears. I'll answer any questions you guys have. See you guys next time.